We can actually, it's not a hard series. Let's work with it a little more. I even have space, I'll just do it over here. What would the next term be? 2, 5, 8, 11, and then? 15. 14. Okay. Me good at, me good at adding. Okay, um, <laughs> what's going to happen if I only have 2 and 14, and I'm told, I'm told, okay, this is term 1, and this is term 5, now, there's a couple of interesting things here. Um, for starters, if you know it's term one and term five, I don't just have one term to insert, do I? I have one, two, three, okay? Now, I can still get the middle of those two terms. That's okay. This will still give me the middle. Does that make sense? Do you see why? Because if I forgot about five and 11 for a second, I'll still have an AP, won't I? Uh, two, eight, 14. It's just the gaps are twice as big. Okay, so it still works fine. But then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to insert another pair of numbers to divide that up a little more. If you want to think way back um, in statistics, do you remember there are these things called quartiles? Do you remember those? Interquartile range. So what you do is you've got like a set of data, right? You have to find the middle. Bam. What do we call the middle? It's not the mean. It's called the median. Median. It's also known as Q2, the second quartile. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone, anyone in like oh, economics mode is kind of like, oh man, seriously. Okay, now, then to get more quartiles, because quartiles there's four of them, right? You do this same process. You find the median here, which gives you the first quartile, and then you do the median here, which gives you the third quartile, right? And here is the interquartile range, right? You've got a lowest number, a highest number, that'd be our term one and term five. That's your, that's the range there. And you've got how many numbers? One, two, three, four, five. What do we call this thing? What do we call those five numbers? Oh, no. Oh. Does anyone remember? <laughs> numbers. <laughs> it's the, um, it's the five point or five number summary, right? It's what you make a box and whisker plot out of. You go like this and you go like that. Okay, right? Box and whisker plots, the most cheesy thing. Jeff. Okay, all right. So let's all right, let's let's keep thinking. So, for instance, suppose now I have just that, right? And you get told there's term one and term four. How will you work out? I know that I've got to put two intervening terms in. Come on, let's put our thinking caps on. How are we going to do this? What strategy can I use? You take I've got, instead of first and third, and third I've got first and fourth. And I've got to put in two terms to make an AP. Yeah, right. You take the fourth term, subtract the first term, divided by three, and you get yep. the uh, common difference, and then you solve it. Okay, so let me think about this another way. In terms of what I've already got on the board, okay? Remember when I just had two and eight? I said, the first thing we said was, um, I have to add six to get all the way there. And that's two steps. Adding six is two steps. Well, if I have a number that's further along the chain, two to 11 is adding how much? Nine. It's adding nine. And how many steps is that supposed to be? Three. It's supposed to be three steps. So you get your common difference. Okay.